So much going on on the national stage, a lot to muddle through. This morning we have our political analyst, Colin Moore, joining us live on set. Good to see you, Colin. Good to see you. Happy to be here. Oh my gosh, lots going on. It Let's sure start is. with the um, the craziness that's happening uh, with the with the shutdown. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, as you just said, it looks like Speaker Mike Johnson is going to make a deal just to kick the can down the road. There are 12 appropriations bills Congress will ultimately have to deal with. And remember, you know, this is the sort of deal that hurt Kevin McCarthy, the, fir the previous speaker. And there have been some rumblings from the right uh, that they might try to, uh, to kick uh, Mike Johnson out. But I think that's unlikely. Um, I think he realizes that that doesn't uh, make much sense politically for the Republicans. So I expect eventually we're going to see a deal that looks very close to the previous deal that Kevin McCarthy had uh, with the Democrats and the Biden administration. Yeah, a lot of pressure there. Also looking forward to the campaign trail. Lots of <laughs> rhetoric that's right. as usual, especially with the trial going on with Trump. What's your take on all the circus that's starting? Well, I mean, you know, this is this is the beginning <laughs> of a, a long political season here. It looks very clear that Trump is going to win the Iowa caucus, which is a very important milestone for him. Really, I think you see Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley running for second place. And we saw this morning a very important poll released uh, from Iowa that shows Donald Trump way in the head at 48 percent, but Nikki Haley in that second place position at 20 percent. I think the question is whose supporters turn out. And it looks like from this poll, uh, Nikki Haley's supporters might be a little less likely to turn out than the Trump supporters. But what Haley is hoping is she gets second place. And if that happens, she's going to be in a great position to the, for the New Hampshire primary that comes next week. And that will put her in a good position when South Carolina comes after that, which of course is her home state, the state she was governor. So what she's looking for in this Iowa caucus is not to win it, but to give her campaign the sort of financial boost, the media attention uh, to push her into that New Hampshire primary. Yeah, setting the foundation, as you say. Exactly, yeah. exactly. All right, so let's turn locally because sure. our own state legislature opening on Wednesday. Lots of bills as usual, 3,000, the typical number, yeah. and then only 10% about getting through. What are you watching? Well, so first of all, I mean, the legislature is going to be focusing intensely on Maui's recovery. I mean, rebuilding Lahaina is going to be their central focus. We know the governor and legislative leaders have asked for a lot of money. Um, they're looking carefully at how they can convert some of the short-term rentals to long-term rentals, because that's the challenge on Maui right now. Where are folks going to be housed for the long term? Um, so you're going to see intense focus there. I think you're going to see some focus on um, reducing the cost of living. We know that Governor Green is very keen on pushing what he calls his gap plan, and that would reduce taxes. The most important part of that would, it would index our tax code to inflation, which would reduce taxes for, for everybody. Um, the other big issues we're going to be looking at, of course, are more money for wildfire mitigation and protection. I mean, I think this year will go down as the year Hawaii finally got serious about wildfires, so you're going to see a fair bit of action there. I know an issue that's going to get a lot of attention is of course, recreational marijuana. Yes, we've been talking it for years. We have. Do you think this is the year it's going to pass? You know, I don't. I mean, I will say this. The attorney general re released a very important report that kind of showed how Hawaii could implement recreational marijuana. But there's also two things going on. First of all, we're heading into an election year. Lawmakers tend to be more cautious. And I don't see anything that's changed dramatically um, from last year to this year that would change the mind of those lawmakers who are opposed to recreational marijuana. So I think they're going to consider it, but I don't think this is going to be the year, but I could be wrong. You could be wrong. Well, a lot of attention obviously going to be focused on our elections here, too. Uh, any changes or surprises you expect? You know, not that I'm seeing right now. I think okay. this is going to be a pretty quiet election season. I mean, there's always going to be some interesting down ticket races um, in the legislature. Um, but, you know, one of the top level races, you know, Mayor Rick Blangiardi running for re-election. I haven't seen yet any big challengers who would who would really I think give him a run for his money. Now, now that may change, um, but I think we're in. We're we're, we're going to have a relatively quiet election season here, um, despite the fact that we're going to have a very contentious election season at the national level. The national level will definitely dominate the headlines. Okay, looking forward to Wednesday. Any final things that we should be, I guess, watching, or what do you want to see done? I guess personally, at, at the local level, yeah. you know, I, I I I do think the most important thing legislators can do is work on housing, and I li I'd like to see a lot more um, resources devoted to improving infrastructure that would reduce the cost of development, maybe reducing some of the regulatory barriers. That is Hawaii's number one challenge, affordable housing, and I hope they make some progress this year. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest challenge, I think, especially with homelessness, a, an ongoing issue as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Colin Moore, thank you so much, our political analyst. We are to offer a quick break. You are watching Sunrise Weekends.